Day five of the World Cup, Shaka Hislop joining me as we look back on that result for Sweden over South Korea. Shaka, what a feisty game it was. 25 fouls just in the first half alone. Eventually a foul that resulted in the penalty that gave Sweden the lead and the win. And there was, of course, a VAR decision mm -hmm. again. Just your biggest takeaways from the entire game. Well, a, a, a lot to talk about here. And, mm. and not that it was that thrilling, like, thrilling a game, but I thought... Well, initially, South Korea, who I thought looked good going forward, but then seemed to lack confidence in possession. And as the game went on, dropped deeper and deeper and invited Sweden onto them. And Sweden recognized that and, and put them under a lot of pressure. Um, the referee allowed a lot. And, and as much as, as, as I think he, he got things right, uh, there was one big call for a penalty in the first half, yeah. I, which, which he, he waved away. And I think rightly so. I don't think that was ever a penalty. Um, and then the incident in the, in the second half, where I thought there was a clear penalty, the referee had a good position and, and a clear view of it, waved it away, and then in the middle of a South Korean counter-attack, um, stopped it to, re to review, and which I thought, well, one, he got the initial call wrong, which uh, he shouldn't have. A referee at this level should make that call. And secondly, it was an improper use of the review pr procedure and the protocols that, that had been spelled out. If something needs to be reviewed, you've got to wait for the ball to go out of play. Whether, they, whether it's a, a Korean goal or not, you've got to wait for the ball to go out of play and then you review. To stop it in the middle of play, in the middle of a promising counterattack, means that the referee could only make one decision at that point. As it turns out, it was the right call, um, but all the same, it was two wrongs kind of making a right here, which I, I don't think does anybody any good. So, uh, poor marks for, for referee Aguilar on, on the missed call and the improper use of the VAR. But all in all, despite the feisty affair, I thought Sweden were the better of the two, better of the two teams, allowed to be better, and now all of a sudden find themselves in a very good position after, after match day one. Well, speaking of that, let's have a look at how the group is shaping out, because Shaka, before this, I don't think any of our predictions would have seen Mexico topping the group at this stage with Germany flat at the bottom and just South Korea above them, Sweden there in second place. So how do you see this group shaping out? How do you see Sweden possibly taking advantage of Mexico's wonderful results? Well, it's now a, a still a whole lot to play for. Yeah. And, and, and right now, you've got to expect a response from, from Germany. Let's remember Germany, despite the result against Mexico, are still reigning world champions. This but is under the, the pressure now. Uh, under a lot of pressure. This is a German team that 12 months ago went to the Confederations Cup with what many argued was a C team and totally dominated that as well. Um, so you, you do expect a response. You don't expect them to be as bad. I think they match up better physically uh, against both Sweden and, and South Korea. You don't see either of those two teams posing the kind of problems that, that Mexico did mm -hmm. on, on the counterattack. And therefore, just their guile, their experience, and their quality, uh, I, I think, will, will be telling. Um, but now, it, it's, it, it comes down to that Sweden-Mexico game uh, as to what you get out of that. Again, fully expecting Germany to win their, their next two. A lot hinges on, on that game, on, on not, just, not just whether one of those teams win, win or draw, because if it's Mexico, all of a sudden they could be looking at, at, at coming out of this group top. Um, you finish second, uh, you may very well meet, meet Brazil in the next round. And, and that is a, again, if Brazil results go as, as maybe you expect, that, that's, still, that's, we'll that's still up in the air. But another day if for Brazil sure. top their group, <laughs> which is still an uncertainty, you don't want to be second here because you meet in Brazil in the round of 16 which I don't think is an inviting prospect for anyone, despite their, their relative struggles uh, yesterday. All right, thanks so much to Shaka Hisab. There you have it. Interesting times in the World Cup, and boy, do we love it. Keep track of everything, and make sure to watch the show ESPN FC on ESPN+.